Hey San Antonio, how are you, um, dear friends? It's been, it's getting harder and harder to find houses to flip in this market. This is a totally different market than what we were used to. So you really have to go a lot deeper into trying to find something that makes sense gutting and then trying to resell it. So this property that we found here in a pretty coveted uh, San Antonio subdivision called Long's Creek. Uh, I'm just gonna briefly walk it with you so that you can see we're almost at the final um, part of the process and I will be sharing with you those before pictures. This house, it was in pretty, pretty bad shape. Some of the improvements, well, we not only got it all the way inside, but we also replaced the roof, air conditioning. So basically, you know, all the major systems of the house have been replaced and they are brand new. It sits on a really cute cul-de-sac. So it will be um, coming into MLS shortly. But in the meantime, why don't you come walk it with me? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. I'd love to uh, hear your comments on the colors because Every single thing that I've been learning about color trends and design trends, they're taking, you know, white kitchens completely out and they're like more going towards uh, neutral colors, warmer colors. I still believe, you know, that some of the design trends like those green kitchens are not gonna stand the test of time. And a white kitchen, you know, one way or another, you can always go darker. So anyway, walk it with me. Let me know what you think. Okay, so. Moving on, on the outside, all this brick has been power washed and all the fascia and the stucco at the top has been repainted. Um, we got a new door and basically all the siding of the house was also fixed. All the, you know, things that were rotted away were replaced, repainted, also added uh, the new fence gate right there. So let's go inside. Gotta tell you, these crepe myrtles, they are such incredible trees when they're mature. You know, the landscape makes such a big difference. So before we, um, when we first got this house, there was like a wall here and they had made this like a secluded office, but it was a pretty bad job. So we just decided to open it up so that you can have, you know, a pretty good sized living area. Um, the color scheme, again, going back to using all white, everything white, that's why we decided to add this um, little bit of color in the, all the millwork, frames, doors, and baseboards. And I think they make a great difference. 42 inch cabinets, white cabinet shaker style. Uh, the space for the refrigerator is completely um, housed, which I hate people that do not use this plate, this piece right there to block when you're walking into the kitchen right here, um, all the cables that run you know, on the refrigerator. This back here is a utility room. Um, it's a one and a half car garage and here's the space for the water heater. So again, going back to the kitchen, those are white cabinets, nice island. And then the area that opens up to the family room which was a, an addition, I guess, on this house. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it wasn't here when it was first built, but it's a really great area. So you can basically decide if you want your eating here or if you want it over there and the family room over there. It gives you that uh, versatility. On the outside, I do believe that this house used to, you know, do something school or whatever, because this whole thing was painted in funny colors. And well, you can still see up there, part of the leftover colors but this is a nice well this was already here and basically all we had to do is get it approved because it was not approved by the HOA so the HOA basically said just go ahead and finish it up don't remove it just have it surveyed and then it will be permitted this space does not deserve such a beautiful bathroom but there you go I mean at the end of the day having an extra bathroom it's a great thing even if it's on the outside because this can definitely be a man cave, an office, or something else. Another thing that we had to uh, get rid of that we used to be a lot of decking, and another shed right here that it used to uh, look, you know, make this space look really bad. My favorite feature about this house, without a doubt, the tree. 
I would do anything to have a tree like that. And I know I say that in all my videos, but it's just, you cannot duplicate mature trees like that one. Again, all the siding has been fixed, brand new roof, the paint. Um, we added this sliding door here and the other sliding door on the living room. And as we go up, upstairs you find three bedrooms and um, two bathrooms. So total of three bedrooms, three bath if you consider the one on the outside. Again, we're going over the finishing touches. This is one of the secondary bedrooms. I really like the millwork, the, 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 you know, the difference right here on the colors, on the walls, on the basement. This is for a secondary bedroom, a pretty good size room. Over here you have the master bedroom, which is also pretty good size. I love the fact that it backs to the back of the house and the master bedroom, I mean bathroom. Quartz countertops throughout, double sink, square sinks, which is really important to me. I think it's, you know, I, I really don't like oval sinks anymore. And the other thing that we did, this used to continue to the back because it used to be shower, a shower like stuck right here in the middle and then a tub right here in the back. So I think this was a great addition to the master closet. I don't know, let me know what you think. I love the signing closet, so this one has your long hanging, short hanging, and a great place for purses, shoes, or what have you. So this property, again, we gutted it out. I will be sharing those pictures with you of the before. And if you have any questions um, about the basics of finding a home to flip, let me know. We have a great team of professionals here that help us make this houses look from pretty bad to absolutely amazing. So what do you think? Uh, leave me some message, some um, ideas of what your impression is of this house, the choice of colors that we have used. And again, as a small business owner, please help the algorithm do what it does. Give us a thumbs up, share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.